So when he came in, I'm setting my stuff on the um on the uh, bunk and stuff like that there. So he walked out. So now I got enough time, you know, take everything out. So as soon as he came back in the room, I just blasted him. You know what I'm saying? You hit him with it. Yeah, I, I hit him like what, probably about 16 times. You know what I'm saying? So Damn. And uh, I had to get him out of there because I'm not going in no room with nobody like that. Not only that, I ain't going for nothing. When you know? hit him 16 times, did he live? Uh, Yeah. He did? Yeah, yeah, he lived. He lived. You know what I'm saying? And he didn't tell it. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk. Okay, let's talk about this for a minute. So you go to your first prison. Uh, your transfer, that's like a transfer facility. You, you, now you go into... When I, leave, when I left Atlanta... I went to Lewisburg. See, Atlanta wouldn't let me out on the compound until I turned 23. They had a they had a, a limit on the age. Okay. When I come in the system, and uh, they wouldn't let me out on the compound until I turned 23. But they ain't wanted to keep me in there so long, so they sent me to Lewisburg Penitentiary. So I went wow. to Lewisburg Penitentiary. So when I got to Lewisburg Penitentiary, they was making an HBO special and stuff like that. Yeah. But for but, uh, for what? Because it was a, one of the worst penitentiary. In the United States, at the time, maybe, maybe what year was that? About eighty, that was about eighty-eight, eighty-nine. That when you first touched down, right? What was the first experience you had? A bad experience you had in there at that prison? The first time you had an incident? Well, I had a lot of incidents. The first time? Well, the first, the first incident. Now, I know it's thirty the years. First back. incident that I had was. Uh, I had a homeboy named Hot Hand, you know what I'm saying? So you seen one of your homeboys in there? No, I'm talking about before, I, before they already, see, in the system, they know who coming to the power. Exactly. Who this and who that. So they already waiting for me. So when I got to, when I got to Lewisburg and uh, I come out, it was like 15 of us. You know, we go, we, we coming out of the shoe. And I've been, in, I've been in the shoe probably about three months. But I come out so all my homeboys see me. And waiting on me and, and took me to the yard. So they took me to the yard and uh, explaining to me about the rules. Because it's rules it's rules that you got to go through when, you, when you're coming into the uh, pillar tensions and stuff like that. And there's just like a lot of guys don't know that whatever you don't done on the street, they know. They just laying in there waiting on you. You know what I'm saying? They know everything. You know what I'm saying? So when I come through, uh, they was doing the HBO special and stuff like that. I, and uh, um. What were they did they do? What was the, what, when you fifteen when all y'all came out? What was the problem? Oh, when I came, sorry about that. So when we when we sorry. came when we came out, I go to the uh, the yard with the guys. So they giving me the rules about what's going on and stuff like that. So, but one of my homeboys said, "Listen, you going in a room with somebody? You know what I'm saying? That uh that uh mess with boys? You know stuff like Damn. that? Be trying mm. to turn guys out? You know what I'm saying? Like they did? I said, what? You know what I'm saying? But I said, what you mean? So he was saying, he said, hey, you know, you going in the room with this dude, you know what I'm saying? And uh, he messed up, you know what I'm saying? So he be on boards or whatever. So I'm trying to figure out what they talking about boards and all that little stuff. Because when I when I when I when I first got there, it was crazy because I never been to a compound where there was so many uh, uh, guys there. I'm talking about because they had some weight. These they dad looking like Hulk Hogan. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. You know what I'm saying? They got weight. That's all they doing all day. So. So um, seeing all that was crazy too. But when so, but when they I go to the yard and they told me that the cell that the guy that you might be going in with, you know what he your silly, you know what I'm saying? He on boards or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So, and I said, not only that, I said they already want him off the compound, you know what I'm saying? And uh, that's the only spot you got you you able to go to. I said, well, I'm going up in there. I'm gonna take the cell, mm. point blank period. You know what I'm saying? So I said, where the knives at? That's, that's you know it. what I'm saying, but they said well, we can't just do that because this guy's from another uh, another car. He was from Nebraska. You know what I'm saying? He's from another car. So they said so we uh, so they got with the Nebraska guys and 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 talked and 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 I let them know what I'm with, what I'm what I'm willing to do go yeah. up there do because I'm you know what I'm saying I'm as soon as I go up I want that sale you know what I'm saying I ain't going for nothing because I'm just coming in and I'm young you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. so so. Uh, I let them know what I was going to do. So what they did, they gave me two knives. My, my homeboy, High Hand, gave me two knives. So I waited and uh, went to the unit. One guy showed me what unit I was in. So I go to the unit 
And um, I I go in, what I did, I looked in first, because he got, you know, he got a curtain. Got them slide door, but he had a curtain on the jump. So I sat outside the uh the hallway into the into the into into the guy came, you know what I'm saying? So he came and um and uh he asked me, was you my son? I said, Yeah. So he let so what he did, let me in, I go in and all that all that. So when he came in, I'm setting my stuff on the um on the uh, bump and stuff like that there. So he walked out, so now I got enough time, you know. Take everything out. So as soon as he came back in the room, I just blasted him. You know what I'm saying? You hit him with it. Yeah, I, put, I hit him like what, probably about 16 times. You know what I'm saying? So damn. And uh, I had to get him out of there because I'm not going in no room nobody like that. Not only that, I ain't going for nothing. When you hit him 16 times, did he live? Uh, yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah, he lived. He lived. You know what I'm saying? And he didn't tell it. He didn't. Even, he didn't tell it. How did he? He, he just. I mean, I don't oh, he just went to the infirmary. He had to go. Yeah, with. I mean, I mean, you know, because you got a lot of guys. You know, when you doing stuff, some people gonna let the people know. They are gonna ask, you, well, who did it and stuff like that. A lot of people. They you ain't got to tell who did it, huh? You ain't got. You ain't to got tell. to tell. No, you ain't got to tell right. nothing. But a lot you know of niggas saying? do roll over. Know, but a lot of people do. You know, a lot of people. So you, tell so who, you lucked out on in. you lucked out on that one. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But I mean, that's what that's what it's about. I mean, People get away with killings and, and things of that nature in prison all the time. Because people don't talk. I don't seen it all the time. Because I'm one of the ones, I, I get a lot of oily jobs when I'm in there. Because I like to do what I want to do. I like to be at a wrong compound and, you know, you know, just to do what I want to do. Mm -hmm. So back then, there wasn't no cameras and stuff in Lewisburg, Atlanta, you know, stuff like that, Cherry Hut, Leavenworth, in this little section that you get caught up in and, uh, and um, and um, it's to go down. So you seen guys that get killed right in front oh, of you? Yeah, I don't see least. I don't see least. I don't see least sixteen, sixteen murders. You don't seen sixteen murders right in front of you? Yeah, and I don't see. Um, uh, I mean, and, and and the guy tried to get me out of prison. I mean, brought my name up that I was uh, that I was there on the murder, and uh, brought my name up and everything. And I seen him at another institution. Man, why why you uh? Oh, I have my name and all that. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he said, because I want to see you get out, bro. You've been locked up a long time. Why he put, what? okay, explain to me, talking to the mic. Well, mm -hmm. How did you, What? how would you have gotten out? What do you mean when you say that? How could he have gotten you out? Because back then in the Fed, they were doing, you know, a lot of guys, they uh, they, they do third parties. You can, you can, you can, you can, you can testify on somebody to get a person out. Wow, that's how the feel. So they letting yeah. you if you te if you say something about another, then you can yeah, get you out. Yeah, that's just like that's just like yeah. I get like it. I they credit the time to them. Me and you on the streets, but and I might be snitching on you, but they gonna credit the time to the dude in prison. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's what that's they was doing a lot of that. So and he wasn't able to get you out. Mm -mm. But he tried. Yeah, yeah, but he tried. But I wasn't trying to come out though. I'm not never going. Like I told him, bro, I'm not going out like that. I would yeah. never go out that way. You know what I'm saying? That's them people trouble. You know what I'm saying? So I, I don't even know why you was bringing my name. But he's still living right in the day, and he don't get out. And we, <laughs> and he laughing. I mean, you know, I seen him. He got real sick. So somebody told me about. It. I went to go see him. So he really, really still sick. You know what I'm saying? But so he I, knew you, and yeah. he's, he's still conscious. Yeah. But he remember when he did oh, that. Yeah, yeah. He talk about it right now. I was trying to get you out of there. Yeah, he was trying to get me out of there because he know I did a lot of time, but still, though, I told him, you know, bro, I, I, I wouldn't even, I, you know, it's all good. I'm going to get myself out the same way I came in. I walked in, I'm going to walk out the same way. Yeah. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.